You know, for me, I, I'm, I'm beyond excited. I'm humbled, uh, but most importantly, I'm, I'm grateful for this opportunity uh, from President John Brodman, from Director of Athletics Jermaine Truex, and uh, Deputy Athletic Director Tim Pavlechko. Uh, this is truly uh, uh, just a humbling situation for me. Bucknell, I've spent uh, eight years of, of my life in Lewisburg, both as a player, as John uh, mentioned, and uh, as a coach. And uh, I, I've learned quite a bit about myself. It was in two different stages of my life. And um, I've looked at uh, Bucknell basketball from two different lenses. One as a, a competitor in the uniform, and another as a teacher and a mentor, uh, relationship builder and connector of the community. And, uh, and both have been amazing, amazing uh, to, to be a part of this entire program, community, and university. Um, it's a special place. I think anybody that's ever been around me recognized quickly, if we start talking about Bucknell basketball, the pride I have uh, for the success that we've had, uh, my teammates and I, the coaches uh, that I worked with when I was a player, as well as, um, as my time here as, as a coach, the community, the alumni, the students, uh, their Energy in Soika Pavilion is something that really resonates with me when I, when I think about Bucknell basketball. And it gives me great excitement to attempt to recreate the energy that I know and I'm so proud of. Uh, the program was built on great players, great coaches, um, managers, trainers, strength coaches, administrators, as I talked about, the fans and the community, and I recognize that. And it's incredibly important to me that we make sure that our players and our program, they know that there's great pride in wearing the jersey. And they'll carry themselves accordingly. I look forward to reintroducing them or introducing them if they've never met some of the, the great players. Mike Muscala, Al Leslie when he comes around. Charles Lee, Chris McNaughton. We'll try to get Chris McNaughton back from Germany to visit. Um, J.R. Holden. I mean, there's incredible history in the jersey, incredible history um, that we have to, to, that will be my job to make sure that our current players recognize why they're, why they're here. Um, on a more personal note, um, I'm very grateful to my wife my family, my kids who are here. Uh, my wife, Bree, is my partner, and uh, I'm very thankful for <laughs> the fact that she puts up with me. <laughs> I often said until today that I was an assistant coach at home and I was assistant coach at work. <laughs> so I have a little time here while I'm at work to maybe make a few decisions. Um, my family's here. And I couldn't be more grateful for their support. And you know, I'm a proud member of, a, of a, a group of coaches that have mentored me to get me to this point. Uh, Billy Lang, Speedy Morris, Jim O'Brien, Pat Flannery, Nathan Davis, all of which played a huge role in the way that I carry myself, in the way that I conduct business as a coach, in the way that I communicate and build relationships the way I value loyalty and energy. So they've all made a huge impact on me. I'm very proud of the coaching tree that I'm a part of. And uh, I'm really excited to get to work. I've gotten to, to meet a few, uh, meet the entire group individually. Uh, we have some energetic and, and excited kids and I'm, I'm ready to get to work.